I forget a paddle. Like I had it in my mind to bring a paddle and forget. But don't worry, we don't need a paddle because we have a drive. Not only that, this will serve as a stick in case we have to get back to shore and we cannot use the drive. Oop. <laughs> Hit myself in the head. Don't worry, we're gonna give you a full walkthrough of this Mako 8.5 Air in another video. For today, I wanna take it right here on the water and we're gonna do a water demo with the drive. We only got like 20 minutes of daylight, then it's gonna be dark. And the paddle session, that will be tomorrow when we take it fishing. I wanna take it out today here to get a, an idea of how it works. See if I'm missing anything before I take it for real fishing tomorrow. Just wanna get that out of the way first. Let's take this moment as I drive this down to the water. See, I'm dragging it and there's rocks and things here. I'm not worried about this thing getting punctured because it's PVC. So PVC is, you know, good, I think. <laughs> and let me tell you that I did get this kayak for free. No, it's not gonna change how I would treat it because I treat everything the same. I tell you what I think about it. If that is wrong or right, well, that's up to you to decide. But let's get this baby on the water. Remember, we don't have a paddle next, people. So everything will have to be with the drive. And uh, wow, wow, wow. Let's set up here quick. There's a few things I need to do quick. Let's go ahead and put the drive. All right, let's secure the drive first. Align the prop, just drop it in through the hole. The thing with the drive is that we may hit shallow water. Put in the MP first, and this you just be able to just go in there. And now it's secure. This is an inflatable kayak, so this is not gonna be super secure, like, oh my God, super rigid. So uh, I'm expecting a lot of movement. And again, I need to treat it like an inflatable kayak that it is. You know what? You know what? I may want this a little closer to me. So let's put it there. Do not over tighten this thing. I don't know how many it takes, but do not over tighten it. I should do it, it's not moving, it's tied up. Oh my God, how are we gonna do this with no paddle? Whew. Now, I heard that this thing is pretty much unthinkable. I mean, unflippable. Uh, oh, I see what I can do. I could just go kawajito, man. This is like, and I'm moving. Let's turn right here. Oh my God, look, it's kinda awkward. I need to fix the share and everything. I could probably move the chair a little closer if I need to because it's attached to a strap that I have here which I can make longer if I want this is not going to be like the best paddling position let's see if we move the seat forward a little bit alright this is better right here like this is way better right here the way I'm sitting way better what happens if I'm going to hit something ooh no way no way no way no way you got instant reverse on a 8.5 foot watercraft dude that's some crazy stuff man i want to bring the rudder all the way down now another thing that i'm again it's you could probably change it you see this gear track right here that's where the rudder control goes rudder control right here see the gear track i don't like this on my right because I'm righty, so I need to have my right hand free to, I mean, to fish, to do whatever I have to do. I keep forgetting that I could go in reverse. So I want to move this to my right. That way I'm able to have my hand free, my right hand. And of course, if we had the camera mount right here, we'll have our hands free. But don't worry, we're going to give you a little glimpse of how fast this thing goes. And tomorrow we're gonna paddle it, but so far, not bad, dude. I also need to learn how to properly go left and right because the rudder is it's in this position, it's not in this position. So if I pull back, if I pull back right here, if you can see, I'm going left. If I pull down, I'm going right. If I stay in the middle, I'm going in the middle. <laughs> wow, the sun is setting. Now, one of the things I want to do with this boat, I want to flip it. Not here, because this water is nasty. 
and you cannot swim in this water according to the sign over there. it's illegal to swim so if you fall and you don't have a PSD sorry you're gonna have to die because you cannot swim it's illegal so let me stand up Whew. I got a little worry that standing up on this thing something was gonna happen but I could tell you this thing feels like a dock it feels very stable do I smell a challenge do I smell a challenge I'm thinking if I do flip it well yeah I'm gonna have to flip it with the drive I'm not sure about how good the inside of that drive is like I'm not sure if I flip it with salt water or something bad is gonna happen to it I flipped one which I'm gonna open soon I should open it soon and, and really clean it up it's been probably a week or so see what happens because I know salt water rust everything I think it got dried up quickly but you never know but actually this feels good I could see myself tomorrow just working a mangrove standing up just casting like maybe take my yak attack park and pull anchor down and just cast 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 standing up again this feels like a dog man whoa this is nice and you got reverse and all this thing fits inside a little bag it's about 65 pounds I think with the drive and everything which means you could probably check it on your next flight to wherever can you imagine you have you could take this fishing with you where you go if you don't have a I mean it's $1800 plus if you want to risk $1800 hey do it but uh, like the idea I mean do it like like if my videos my fishing video would get views I would totally do a trip like that I would like buy an airplane ticket to somewhere and go kayak fishing and everything is in the box but those the fishing videos on my channel don't don't get views so it probably won't happen anyways what I'm gonna do is I want to try to find a way to set up a camera looking at me because you gotta see my face right what do you think beer or no beer I like the beer because I hide the chain here although I might go and do some like we you know like they put laser this out like remove the fat and in the belly I may do that because I gotta look good for the camera I hate my belly though I'm gonna get rid of my belly but anyways what do you think beer or no beer uh, so yeah let me sit down find a place where I could put that camera and with my phone test the camera angle test the camera angle <laughs> no dude test the speed yeah so this is the best phone you could buy right now for your money this is a fancy foldable phone you see how big it is see how small it is right now and you can use it one hand and boom or you could just open it up like that okay enough with the odds I hate ads on apps like this but please do not skip my ads on this video because I want that is one of the ways that we get paid and trust me making these videos they cost a lot of money like that camera right there you see there cost me 600 bucks with the insurance and everything else because I had to buy insurance and guess what I had to buy one like three of those every other year basically so I had to buy one to two GoPros every year and not counting the the rest of the thing I think uh, I think it I could remove the ads by getting the pro version we're gonna do that soon but like for now let's just test this let's just test it and I'm gonna find a way to hold this seat down because it's, I always give a lot of hate to the back of the kayaks because the seat is elevated but on an inflatable like this I will understand it on a regular kayak no but look at that three miles an hour four miles an hour okay I'm gonna go hard three miles an hour can't get past three miles an hour I think we touched four briefly but I was probably maybe that wasn't true for say it's three and a half miles an hour say tomorrow when I'm gonna take a fishing I'm gonna be cruising and I'm gonna go crazy and I'm gonna be speeding I'm just gonna take it oh my god it's almost a full moon this is the pace that I'm gonna take it tomorrow probably and I'm gonna go two miles so it's probably gonna take me an hour to get to my fishing spot the cool thing about this boat is it's an incredible it's a paddleboard it's super stable <laughs> the, go the not so good thing is that it's not super fast if you hit it hard you're probably gonna hit three and a half four miles an hour if you go slow you're going from two and a half to three miles an hour which is not crazy bad because considering that you could just take this on an airplane with you and go and catch some fish somewhere else it fits in the bag so if you live in a, an apartment or somewhere where you don't have space you could afford to own one of these kayaks and I think I got stuck in, in grass but that blade is gonna cut it through that's for sure it's heavier now though 
maybe it has something in there I want to lose it I don't I want to lose the uh, whatever is inside I don't want to so it looks like we lost whatever grass was in there because I didn't want to stop and take the drive out now what I want to do is I want to do a quick turning test to see how well it turns which I don't have super high hope for because I mean look at this it's pretty much a rectangle uh, but I want to see how well it turns right here and what you're gonna see after that is the paddle test remember to turn around any kayak you need to gain a little bit of speed this is a tie turn dude I guess it did well here let's go in circle I mean the turning is not the best for sure but, but what do you expect I'm not gonna turn like a kayak no sir well guys we're gonna do the paddling test session of this video today yesterday we were on the water we were doing the water demo with the drive the kayak did very well but we're gonna finish this video today with the paddling test because I, I forgot to bring my paddle yesterday and that's cool because i get to test it on a different water and uh you know it's different so i want to do that this is actually the first time i'm paddling this craft water here is tricky because there's current there's stuff so it does feel like i'm dragging something it, it moves but you could paddle it that's no problem you could paddle it uh, i want to see if i could like paddle and bike at the same time it feels so good i feel like i'm going really fast man this is so cool like i'm not even paddling fast but i think i'm probably going faster than ever maybe hitting four miles an hour this is cool man if you like want to do leg and arm workout The way you remove the drive is very easy. You just lose this bolt. If I could actually do it. Damn. <laughs> I really tie it up really nicely. This is loose now, basically. And then you just push it up and bring it up. Align the prop. Take it out. Like if you train yourself, this could be done very easy. Since we don't have a drive, I want to see if what it comes out dude like really like you could use this without a drive like you could just be going out short distance you don't want to be bothered you just want to go for a paddle you could paddle it stand up no problemo let's go ahead and get out of here guys we're done for the day if you like this video and want to see more like this there's an entire playlist covering everything about this kayak